Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build a taxi boat. So this is a uh, kind of modified version of my Mark V Special Operations craft. Uh, I've kind of t turned it into this taxi boat uh, and I did ask you guys on one of my episodes of Dakar City if you guys would like a tutorial because uh, there is a couple of changes and you guys said yeah you would like a tutorial um, just so that you get it exactly the same as what I've got here. Uh, in the yellow and in the black, which looks really, really cool. And it kind of turns it into a kind of commercial one. I have changed a tiny little bit, so I'm pretty sure I've changed quite a few little bits and tweaked it. So it's pretty easy. Um, and the texture pack I'm using is LD Modern. Uh, I'm actually just going to switch to a default texture pack to show you guys what it looks like in that as well. So this is what it looks like in that default. Still looks pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I'd probably change is instead of having the, you know, the never brick um, as actual slabs. You could just use full blocks. Uh, you've got enough space. If I actually can grab, I get black wall. Uh, you've actually got enough space anyway to switch these out for black wall, and it still have, you know, you still be able to walk around in it. Um, so I kind of advise doing that. It means that these side ones, you do lose. Again, I need black wall. <laughs> you do lose the kind of, um, I don't know, the dipped roof. But that doesn't really matter too much. It would look a lot better with that. So that's the only switch out I'd actually go for for anybody that's using default or texture packs which don't have don't have great uh, never break textures I guess so yeah that's what it looks like there so let's jump over to the tutorial world and we will get started okay so if you guys are building this one underneath the water I'll just show you guys where you actually be I'm actually gonna grab okay light blue wall for example this will be the simulation of the water because it stops all the water just spilling out everywhere but you'll basically be one, two blocks under. So this is where your water layer will actually be. Just to kind of alliterate. Alliterate? Alliterate. I don't really know. The one word that I need in there. But that's where your water line is going to be. So the red and black layers, both of those two, are going to be underneath the water. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our red wall. We're going to have three. So you're going to go one, two, three. They're going to go three wide. This is going to go back by 18. Counting that block, so you've got with one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And then you have one on the back. So if we just do the same on the other side right here, we can then just fill this bottom layer in. Like that. And uh, done with the red wall. Let's go into the black. Okay, now for layer number two. So you can either use black wall for this one, or if you're on my texture pack at least, you can use the never brick. Uh, because the black wall just doesn't show up very well, especially with video editing, uh, you just can't you can't really tell. Especially it, it then goes to YouTube and uh, the quality actually dips even lower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of both of those. Well, not both of those. I'm going to get rid of the black wall. I'm just going to use the never brick. I think it shows up a bit better. So grab your dark material. That's going to be this one here. Place a block directly on top of the last layer that you got here. Go forward by one. Now what we're going to do is you're going to have four. So you got one, two, three, four. Now you're going to have 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you have 2 here, so you have 2 on the other side, and then you're just going to go across straight like that. So on the other side, just do exactly the same, I might as well do it with you, it's such an easy little chip, so there you go, that'll give you that. Let's get on to the next one, which is going to be yellow. Okay, and for layer number 3, come to the front, place a block directly on top of the last one, come forwards by 1. Then you're going to have a 3, so you got 1, 2, 3. Now you're going to have 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, which will bring you directly in line with this bit. So then just bring that across, and then you can just drag this all the way to this point, and 1, 2, 3. Let's go blocks there. Grab your grey wool, and we're just going to fill this in. And this is where your deck is, so the kind of bit underneath it is completely useless, really. You've only got a one block gap. Um, I haven't really figured out anything that you can really do with it, but if we just fill this all in and there we go, get all of that part like that, that will give us a floor. And for layer number four, come to the front, place a block directly on top of the last one again, and go forwards by one. Not that way, <laughs> go forwards by one. Then you get a three, so you get one, two, three. And now this one's just going to go directly on top of the last, really, so it just goes straight to the back like this and drag it across. You don't put any uh, blocks on the back part here. There we, go. we should have that there and if you do go to the back, if you grab your never brick fence, the three across, just on the side here, cut two of them out. And this is kind of where I had uh, kind of like the, 
the boarding place, so where people would actually get onto it. So I don't know if you had wood or something, you would have them coming out. I've used a cobblestone here, which is my kind of like greyish road colour. But you know, you'd be able to step out onto a dock. Um, so it's kind of big enough for that. And then if you go to the front, we're just going to fill in this front part. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's just two past on the big part here. That'll fill in uh, this main section. Then grab your glass. Just on this part here, you're going to go one, two, three. Then on the side, one, two, three. Then you're going to have never brick or some sort of black wall. Then glass, then never brick, then glass, then never brick. And with these never brick parts, pieces, uh, just actually carry them down right until you go onto the darker part or the, or the black line. So they can just copy this up straight onto the other side. Like this. And bring that down as well. Put in your glass. Just like that. And then if you grab your never brick fence, we're just going to go leave this one and go one, leave this one, two, leave that one, three. So it's got one, two, three pieces uh, just like that. What we can also do here as well is we can put in two pieces of yellow wool. Uh, this will give a little door. Um, on my one, what I've got is even though there's a canopy on the kind of back part, uh, there is also a kind of like little cabin part. So where you've got the person that's actually you know, driving the boat or sailing the boat. Well, it's not, I don't know, motorised ones, I have no idea if it's still classed as sailing because it's in the water. Uh, but you have that and you also have the canopy ones here. So actually what we can do is we can put in some of these seats and I'll just figure out exactly where I've done them. So I'll put in stuff here, so I'll just grab that. I'll also grab a crafting table, uh, jukebox. I've already got a jukebox, cool. Uh, do we need anything else? No, nope, looks fine. Uh, so that I've got some glass in there as well, so I'll put that in. So we just get grab our glass. So I switched out these ones for glass. Uh, we're just going to have a seat here, here, and come forwards. And uh, right at the front, all I did is have a crafting table in the middle, and jukeboxes on the sides. Then have seats here, and kind of block this bit up. You could actually block it up completely, I guess. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Maybe maybe do something with slabs so that it looks like it's a different and separate part. I think my one at the minute isn't separate enough. So there you go. Put that in. And then if you do the back part as well, we're just going to put in a seat. Wherever you've got the never brick fence, we're just going to put in a seats here. And just have them go forward. So that'll give you enough seating and kind of leg room, I guess. Um, now, if you grab your never brick slabs or if you are going to go with full blocks, just put them directly on top of the, gla uh, on the glass. Uh, if we just drag this all the way back until it's right onto the last, there we go, right onto the last uh, never brick fence. And drag this one back as well. Just directly on top. And right on the front, we're just going to add one here and one here. Now we need to get some way to get up one slab higher. So there we go, I'll just place down a block and then we're one slab higher. And all we're going to do for this bit is just fill it in until we go right to the back. So if you drag all these ones directly in line and over here as well, like that. Uh, that will give you the little canopy here. What I did here is just put in a slab here and here and then went across with a little door and put in an actual door. Um, so I, actually I do think, yeah, this is what I had before. And it doesn't really separate it. That actually separates it quite nicely as like driver seats, even though you do lose this seat in a way uh, it doesn't matter too much but that is it for the tutorial obviously you can mix it up and match uh, with different colors uh, it's kind of up to you uh, but thanks for watching if you enjoyed if you enjoyed the tutorial make sure you comment like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one